Hello Las Vegas, welcome to the Morning Blend Extra. I'm Sean Tempesta. If you're a high income earner, upside down in your mortgage, and you want out, you may think you have no options. Well, think again. Here to tell us more is real estate expert, broker, and owner for First Prime Realty Group. That's Laith Lovato. Laith, it's a pleasure having you as always. Thank you. Uh, so let's talk about this. For, for homeowners that are upside down, on the, uh, but they're also current on their mortgage, they want to sell, but they can't because it's underwater. Is that the case, or is there an option for them? There are options for them. I mean, anybody who is in a position that they're upside down in their mortgage, there's, you know, there's short sales out there, there's loan modifications, there's a short sale buyback, there's the HARP, VA, FHA, Streamline refinances. Just a lot of things out there for these folks, folks to, uh, to short sell their home. There's, it's kind of like uh, the, 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 knife, uh, the, the knife cutlery situation. There's a different knife for everything. There's a different refinance or short sale, depending on your situation. And there sure is. Uh, let's talk about home values. We saw home values shoot up right after the recession, uh, and now they're kind of leveling off. Uh, why aren't they growing any faster? You know, that has a lot to do with the investor activity out there uh, that started in t the end of 2006. Mm -hmm. It also has to do with, you know, Las Vegas is still 34% upside down right now. So just a lot of inventory still. We saw inventory go up in 2013, the end of 2013. It practically doubled overnight when these wow. investors pulled out of the market. It hit a certain level for them. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, because they just couldn't get the uh, return on their money anymore. Mm -hmm. And this was due to the, a lot of the short sales that were under contract. Also, you know, you add seven to 10 years, we've all heard that the real estate market is on a seven to 10 year cycle. And, you know, the bottom of the market was in 2008. If you add seven to 10 years to that, we're poised for another downturn. Wow. And we've seen that also trending because three, uh, two and a half, three years ago, we were almost double what we were last year in the increase in equity, which was 11%. Yeah. This year, we're expected to go up five to 6%. So it seems like it'll be cutting by half every year. It does. Yeah, wow. Uh, l l let's talk about people then who are financially stable. Uh, they want to get out of the house. Should they wait and wait until the home maybe gains the value? Should they pay the negative equity and do a regular sale? Should they just do a short sale? You know, it really depends on the homeowner's situation and their plans for the future. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, just because you have money in the bank and you have a healthy income does not mean that you can't complete a short sale one of these other programs out there. You know, you really have to take a look at the situation and make a good decision based on how much you're upside down on the property. Some mm -hmm. folks are upside down tens, hundreds of thousands of dollars. And to plunk that down isn't necessarily easy. To, to, to pay out the difference there. Uh, some people are worried about doing a, a short sale though because it can affect their credit. How does it affect your credit? And how soon can you go back into the market and buy another home? You know, we see borrowers, you know, with the higher credit scores taking a less impact, of course. And then also, if you're not late and when you complete a short sale or something of that nature, you see a less impact as well. We also see when a short sale is completed on the property and closed out, the credit scores go back up. And quite rapidly, actually, within six months to a year. Wow. And some folks with these, with these higher FICO scores to begin with, they see a very small decrease. It's a quick in that blip. I exactly. Wow. Maybe 25, 50 points. And if you're at 700, 800 points, it's not a you big bump it. in the road. Yeah. yeah. And you can be able to buy again now within a day after short sale in some cases, or even after a foreclosure or a bankruptcy. Does the bank r require the seller to come to, with money to the table for a short sale? You know, I rarely see that. I even see, you know, these folks who are upside down by 500,000 plus that are high income earners and, and they haven't had a uh, contribution required by the bank to, to complete a short sale either. And that's where they'd have to come to table with something, mm -hmm. you know, a few thousand dollars or something, some skin in the game to allow them to short sale the property. So I don't see it a whole lot. And in fact, banks are even given, you know, relocation money right now. They just increased half of by 10, up to $10,000 from 3,000 mm -hmm. this, starting this February. We have about 15 seconds left. There is a tax liability with getting forgiven debt. However, there are ways to possibly absolve yourself from Debt that. forgiveness, insolvency. And the service costs, goose egg. Zero. The, the lender pays mine and the attorney's fee that I put on the file. Which is excellent. So you don't have to put any money on the, on, on the line. Well, Lath, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Make sure you catch Lath on the radio. He talks all things real estate, including short sales and the current state of the housing market. It's available at his website or on iTunes. And for more information on Lath and his services, you can visit the website or call the number on your screen. He's also on Facebook and Twitter. Have a great day, everybody.